Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I am going to start doing my podcasts again where I share my finished objects and whips and things like that all in one video. I used to do that when I first started my channel all the way up until sometime in 2022 and then I just kind of stopped. I'm not sure why. I started putting out more short videos and it's just getting to be a lot now. So now I decided that I'm going to try to go back to doing like weekly podcasts uh, of all the stuff I just mentioned. <laughs> and then also I still will be doing like random Stitcher Libraries, Stitcher Stashes, National Holiday videos, and also collabs whenever I do them. And also giveaways and things like that. And crochet alongs, which is one's coming up soon that I am hosting. <laughs> I'm excited about. Anyways, so today I got to share, I got a few things to share with you. I have showed most of these in other videos in the past week. But if you haven't seen them, then I'm just going to kind of glob them all together here. So I got some finished objects to share with you guys. Some whip progress. I also got a little um, yarn swap that I did. And I got some happy mail that I'm going to show you. That uh, the other day I got a gift card from Mary. And I spent it. <laughs> and it's what I bought with that. So stick around if you want to watch all that. And yeah, let's go. Alright, so let's start in with the foes, which is finished objects. I got quite a few of them. I actually had to write them down because I was afraid I'd forget one. So, and these are in no order because I can't remember the order I finished them in. But I will show one first that someone asked about. I had it um, up in my yarn ball and I had finished it, I think, last week sometime. Maybe the week before that. I just made it because I wanted to make it. Um, and I never did show it on an actual video. I just kind of stuck it up there and it's just been living in my yard. <laughs> but it is a chicken. And uh, I can't remember who asked. Let me find it. Uh, it is a free pattern by Yarnspiration. So it's made by their design team. And it's available as a PDF on their website. I'll link Everything I'll talk about will be linked below. And it's called Chicken Rooster. <laughs> Don't know why it's called that. But here it is. <laughs> now his wings are a little off. Once I sewed them on, you see that? This one's way further back. But it's alright. I don't even care. I wasn't going to fix it. It's alright. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pin. You need to pre-pin. But this is just a cute little chicken re recipe. <laughs> it's not a recipe. Uh, pattern that I found. I thought he was so cute. And I wanted to use my sister's eyes. Felt eyes. She sells them. I'm going to plug her right here. She's, her Etsy shop is always linked down below. It's called Made by Hattie Co. And she makes felt uh, eyes and mouths. And also stickers and card decals and things like that. And uh, other things in the future maybe. But anyways, he's a little floppy. <laughs> he's made with all Red Heart Super Savory yarn. So it's white, bright yellow, and cherry red. And he is made of a, quite a few pieces. If you don't enjoy sewing, Amigurumi's this is not the pattern for you. Because <laughs> his body is one piece. And then his tail is t two. So, and then three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. So he's nine pieces they gotta sew together. But he is cute. Look at him. And like I said, these are eyes from her shop. Uh, and I just hot glued them on there. You can sew them on or use like E6000 or whatever. Um, maybe fabric glue. I'm not sure. I just use hot glue and it's always worked for me. I, I guess I wouldn't suggest using this for little kids who chew on things. Because they maybe could you know, chew enough on that to get it off. But uh, I made it for the purpose of just being a decoration. <laughs> so that's just my little chicken. I like him a lot. He's so cute. On their uh, pattern, they show you how to do, or they have like an example of a regular like solid color chicken. And they also did one with variegated yarn. And it's cute with variegated yarn too. But there it is. I believe I used a F hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter. That used to be my go-to for Amigurumi's. But now my tension and all that has changed. And now I'm going down to E-hook. Because a lot of times, like you can see on his stomach, holes are left. And that bugs me to death. So, um, my tension has been off lately. <laughs> but anyways, that's my little chicken. So there he is. His pattern will be linked below. The next finished object, I just finished this one too. This one I made for the Christmas Extravaganza collaboration with KK Crochet. Uh, and it is called the Twisted Christmas Headband, but I didn't make it in Christmas colors, so it's just Twisted Headband by Sarah Satch. And she has a written tutorial and a video tutorial for this one. So it is just a twisted headband, ear warmer. And I used uh, Big Twist yarn for it, and this is the color Aqua. And uh, I used a, what kind of hook did I use for this? I used an I 5.5 millimeter. This is a cute headband. I like these kinds of 
headband ear warmers. Uh, these are the ones I prefer to wear. I like the way they look, and I like that they keep you warm, but not, like, hot. <laughs> so, I like this one a lot. This is a good gift idea, I think. Which is what I made it for, for that collaboration. <laughs> alright. So, uh, alright, this is for another collaboration. I also made this last week. My hair's probably a little fuzzy now. This is for the collaboration that I'm doing with Terry Yarn Joy Podcast and Kim the Crafty Nomad, and it's a Christmas ornament. We're, we've been doing that uh, all of July on the Mondays. Deck the House Club. <laughs> And it's called Mini Wreath by Agnes Chow. And it's just a cute little simple. It's basically a curly cue that you connect to make a ring. And then you can decorate it. So I used some uh, Red Heart yarn. The green color. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I have like a ball of it. And I think I used an F or H hook maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> I forgot. But I just put some jingle buzz on there and a little ribbon that I just tied out of. Or a little bow that I tied out of some ribbon that I had. And that's my little... Uh, Christmas ornament. There are two more of these videos coming out this coming Monday and then the Monday after that. I think it's the last day of July. So there you go. That's finish object number three. <laughs> so let me turn back pages. All right. P finished object number four and five are two amigurumis that you would have seen yesterday if you watched my national crochet holiday uh, video and it is two moths. <laughs> yesterday was national moth day. So I made two little moths, and they the pattern is called Moth Madness by Brianna Eves, and I used an F hook, which is a um, 3.75, and I used Red Heart Yarns, and one big twist. So for this one, he's so cute. If you want to see more about these, uh, you can go watch that video. I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow, and like a hot pink color, I can't remember what it's called. And it's just so cute. I love this little guy. That was the, first, the second one I made, actually. The first one I made was the Mothman one. <laughs> and it is Big Twist Titanium Gray and Red Heart Black. And then I did use Puffy Paint to make the little eyes with. They're uh, not too complicated. It's a pretty easy pattern. Although I noticed both times that I made these, uh, the stitch count was off according to the pattern. And I think it was the pattern. Because <laughs> I, I went, I like counted and counted and counted, and it was always off. So I think... Um, Maybe the pattern just has a little error in it. But it was not a big enough error to like affect it. I still was able to finish it. <laughs> it is made in five pieces. The body is one whole piece, including the legs. And then there's four wings. You guys so on. But they're pretty quick little patterns. You know, I made them both while like chilling and watching TV. I think I made this pink one while June was taking a nap one day. Let's see here. This one no one's seen. Except I did show it on a Whip Wednesday, but I haven't showed it finished. Uh, this is a Halloween project that I made out of this Annie's book. I think it's from 2020. Yeah, 2020. And it's Annie's Spectacular Crochet. You can still purchase this in the, like, ebook form on their website. And you can find it randomly. It's on, like, Amazon and on, um, thrift books and stuff. So it's just a bunch of Halloween crochet patterns. And I've made quite a few things out of this, and a lot of other people have too. I know Terry made this blanket right here. Uh, and I've made this, but I made this before this book came out. I had this pattern already. But I've also made a few patterns, but the pattern that I made is this one right here. <laughs> I think it's just called Halloween Mug Rug. Uh, well, sp Spooktacular Mug Rugs. <laughs> so it has a pattern for a jack o' lantern one, a Frankenstein one, and a black cat one. And I went with the jack o' lantern one. <laughs> the jack o' lantern is bright orange. I don't know what that is. It was uh, some yarn that I got out of a little box of yarn that my mom bought <laughs> at an auction. That was for a charity thing. <laughs> so it's like a random. I think it's a red heart. But I didn't have a ball band. And then I did use red heart. Uh, bright yellow. Black and white. And then this green is. Um, Karen one pound green. I don't know what the color is called. It's it's back. It's right there actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I don't know if you could tell. But this part right here is wider than the solid white part. I think it's because the white yarn is slightly thinner. So it kind of slopes. Can you see that? But I don't care. Like, it's one of those things that doesn't matter, <laughs> you know? Because this is going to be like a, it's going to be on my table with like a Halloween decoration on the stripity part. As not a mug rug, because it's not cotton, you know, so it wouldn't be very absorbent at all. But just as like a, um, kind of like a doily, you know, where they're just decorative. But I like it. I love the stripedness. I love black and white stripes. I always have it ever since I was like a teenager and emo. <laughs> and it's very Tim Burton-y, you know? I just love black and white together. And the, the big orange and yellow, I think, is just so pretty. I like it a lot. This is actually a really quick pattern. And I'd like to make the um, the Frankenstein one too, eventually. But I don't know if I'll get around to doing it this Halloween. Because there's other things I want to make. <laughs> but 
but I like it. It came out pretty big because I did use worsted weight yarn and I used um, an e-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And I'm pretty sure in the magazine it calls for smaller yarn. Yes, the pattern calls for DK weight yarn, which is a size 3, and a C-hook, which is a 2.75 millimeter. So it should have been a little bit finer, but uh, I'm a worsted weight kind of person. <laughs> so I will almost always make worsted weight everything. I will always substitute any weight of yarn for worsted weight and just deal with how big it comes out or small. I love this book. There's a lot of patterns in it I've already made, and there's more that I want to make. <laughs> so I'm going to use the heck out of this over the years. I'm going to try to keep it in good condition and make it. I'd like to make this little um, <laughs> bookmark, little bowling set. I think that's so cute. I think the kids would like that. Anyways, so if I can find this anywhere, I'll link it below. But I know for sure you can still get it on their website, the Annie's website, but only the ebook version. But that's my little Halloween guy. <laughs> All right, so my last finished objects is kind of a finish object and a whip. So it's pieces of a whip. It's a blanket. <laughs> so I um, was gifted over a few different gifts. The Sesame Street yarn. Uh, I've gotten it gifted to me. Different ones from like three or four different people. So I finally got all of them. And I wanted to make the Bag of Day Sesame Street blanket. And it is from Bag of Day and <laughs> Crystal. It's on her... Uh, YouTube channel so there's a video for each square plus there's another video on um, put them together and doing a border so the first one that I did and it was also week one for her was the Elmo one so this is the colorway Elmo plus I used white and it is the um hold on a second it is the I also got this gifted to me <laughs> uh Black Friday yarn and it's a 100% acrylic yarn that is a size four so it's this yarn I got a bag of it gifted to me. I think it was five or six balls. So I'm using this as like the secondary color. So this was the first one. I really like this one because I love these little bobble rolls. You see those like popcorn stitch rolls? I like it a lot. This one I noticed because um, actually I, I'm not going in order the way she went. So I did the last square also. I'll show you in a minute. And she mentions in it about making this one bigger. So I have to go back and reattach yarn to this and make it bigger because <laughs> it is smaller than the other ones so far. But this is the Elmo one. And then next I made Cookie Monster. I don't know if this has a front. Okay, we'll just, I haven't woven my ends on this one. <laughs> so this is the Cookie Monster colorway and then that white. And this one's got like textured uh, grainy here. It's, it's a different type of grainy stitch though in the middle. And then it just goes out to like double crochets. So it's really pretty. I got to weave in all those ends on it. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and then the third one I made was Burt. Now this one came out wonky and I noticed hers in the video came out a little wonky too. And she mentions it not laying flat and that it's fine, you know. It'll all come together in the end. Um, I really like the Burt yarn. <laughs> I'd love to have a lot of the Burt yarn. Just the color is really pretty. So this is the Burt colorway and the white. And it's got some texture here too, but that's due to some triple crochets. It looks really nice. But see how it's kind of wonky? Like it won't lay flat, but I think it'll like it, you know, it'll come together in the end. I also did not weave in those ends. And I have not decided if I want to put the little character heads on here yet. Because I'm going to use this blanket for June, my daughter, who is almost 18 months old. Um, I'm afraid she'll like pick on them and pick on them until they come off. So I think what I'm going to do is just make the blanket. And then I'm going to save all the little heads and make loveys out of them to donate. But I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> but I really love this burnt color. It's such a pretty colorway. So that's the first three. There are nine squares. Plus, depending on how big, because it's going to be, you know, she makes a three by three. I think it's going to be, it'd be small. So I want to make some um, other squares to like fill it in and make it a little bit bigger. Because I thought I would use up all the white that I have afterwards. Plus each um, little ball of yarn has leftovers. And plus I have, I have two uh, Oscars, two Count Draculas, two Big Birds, and two Cookie Monsters, and I think two Emmels. <laughs> so I have enough that I can make extra squares to... Um, make the blanket bigger. So I'm probably going to make it longer, you know, like a rectangle shape and then do border. But, you know, I'll deal with all that at the end. So I've, I've got three of the original squares done. She has six more that I'm going to do. And then I'll go from there once I get them all done and see what supplies I have left. So, but the next one I'm going to start is the Abby Cadabby, <laughs> this pretty pink and purple and white one. And then the first uh, ball of the Black Friday yarn is almost out. This is what's left of it. So it did three plus a little bit of the fourth one. 
and then I'll open up this second one and start going on it. So, but Abby Cadabby is going to be the next one. I couldn't remember her name the other day, but it's because I, she wasn't on the show when I used to watch it. <laughs> when I grew up watching uh, Sesame Street, she hadn't been introduced yet. I do remember seeing her on it a few times, like when my nephew was younger. But, uh, and then my kids never got into Sesame Street. June will watch it a little bit now on YouTube. <laughs> uh, mostly ammo. <laughs> but um, Jesse never did get into Sesame Street. I tried. I wanted him to be like a Sesame Street Mr. Rogers type kid. And he just isn't. <laughs> He's a Bluey kid and a uh, Octonauts kid. <laughs> but, um, so this will be the next one. I'm looking forward to how this one works out. Because it's so pretty. I love the pink and purple. And then I'll just randomly grab another one and work through the nine original characters and then go from there. <laughs> this is my plan. But I'll leave that tutorial written or down below. Their first one. Uh, I won't link all 10 videos. I'll just link the first one. Uh, and then you can check out the other ones if you're interested. All right. That is all my finished objects. Now my whips. So let me turn my page to my whips. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. Okay. I'm sorry. But it's, it is the first one from a while. Because uh, I did look. My last actual podcast was... Uh, I think May of 2022, 2022, and that's because June, probably. She was like four months old. All right, so I do have one, two, three, four uh, whips. <laughs> one of them is the Sesame Street one, so I already talked about that one. The second one is my Ripple blanket that I started as a stitcher stash, and then I lost interest in it. <laughs> but I have worked on it a little bit since then, and then I'm going to try to pick it up randomly to show it to you. So it is just a Ripple blanket. It's just a regular ripple stitch. I'm using an H hook, which is a five millimeter. I wish I had started it with a bigger hook, like in retrospect, but I'm using Mandela Ombres. I have the purple ones and the blue ones, which I don't know what their name is right off the top of my head, but uh, I did get one whole purple cake in there and I'm working on the blue one. And then my blue cake got destroyed by one of the kids. I'm not sure which one did it. So I got to deal with this. It's like it had a baby and it's just all over the place. I got to wind it into a ball or something. But so here I will show it to you. And, um, I am picking it up every now and then to work on it. So after I show it to you today, I will put a progress keeper on it and then we'll see next time I show it how far I worked. So it's gonna be like a smaller blanket, like a little throw blanket. I think Jesse's gonna want it because of the purple. He loves purple. <laughs> so there's the first cake right there, the purple. And then I just start putting the blue in. So the blue is about maybe almost halfway in there. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, when I first started this pattern down here up until up here somewhere. I was doing a roll of single crochet and then a roll of double crochet. And I got tired of doing that. Just doing it back and forth. It's kind of a variegated yarn so you can't really tell that there's different stitches. So somewhere up here in the blue I just switched to doing just half double crochets <laughs> because they're so much faster for me to do. And I want to get this blanket done because I'm not enjoying it but I don't want to rip it out either. So I'm going to try to finish it up and just be done with it. So I will show this one sporadically, but maybe not super often because I only work on it it's very seldom. <laughs> and I got to deal with this big ball of yarn barf. So, yeah. So, that's one of my other whips. Okay. And then my other blanket whip that I completely forgot about and I'm two months behind now. And nobody reminded me. <laughs> but I was making the Repeat Crafter Me animal blanket. And I completely forgot about it. So, I did do... January, February, March, April, May. January through May. I haven't done June or July's, but I did print them out and I got them all ready. I'm going to start working on them and then hopefully I'll get to show them to you soon. So I know this is January's. It was a polar bear. And then I think February's was the horse. Uh, I think March was the lion. So cute. I love that line, sir. April was the little lamb. And it is little. I'm going to have some of these. I'm going to have to like stretch when I go to put them all together. And then uh, May was the frog. And I added a little fly to his nose. <laughs> he likes a little made him cross-eyed. So I added a fly. I think that's so cute. <laughs> so um, June's was a hippo. Completely forgot about it. I remember looking at it and then I never made it and I forgot. And then July's is a pig. So I'm going to be making the hippo and the pig eventually soon hopefully and share them with you guys so otherwise you know i got these ones i'm gonna put them back where my other squares are at that's why i forgot about it because i put them up <laughs> until i leave them out but i did print it out and it's on my desk for of things that i need to make soon so i'm gonna keep working on those this is a free pattern by repeat crafter me so i will link that down below as well so you guys can check it out if you want to all right my last active whip is my sweater 
that I am participating in a collab with some other ladies and some of them have kind of fallen off of it because uh, life and also um, losing interest in the pattern they picked. But I'm still interested in my pattern so I've still been trucking along with it and it's slowly getting done. I have the two panels done which if you watch those videos you would have seen. So here's one of the panels. This one's got most of its ends woven in. Did we mold? Yeah, this one's got all the ends woven in. So this is called the Easy Crochet Heart Sweater by Chenda DIY here on YouTube. It's a free tutorial and it's in two parts. So that's the first one. And the yarns that I'm using is all Red Heart. It is Red Heart Soft White, Shocking Pink, and I think Orchid. But it might be, it might not be Orchid. <laughs> so that's the first panel completely done. The second panel is practically done. I just have some ends that I forgot to weave in. So the second panel is the same as the first one. It looks the same. I just got some ends that I gotta deal with. And then uh, the next part is the sleeves. I gotta make the sleeves and then attach the sleeves to the um, panels and the panels together at the shoulder. And then you would go around the whole thing and close it up. And then do the like collar and the brim and I think that's it. <laughs> and then it'll be done. So I'm trying to work on that and get it done. I can't remember what hook I'm using for that. I think it's a uh, G hook. It's in here somewhere. Pretty sure it's a G hook. Oh, I see it. Uh, it's US 7, which is the second G, which is a 4.5. Because I think a, like an actual G is a 4 millimeter, but the US 7 is a G as well. <laughs> and it's a 4.5. But, anyways, so that's my whips. That's my active whips. Whew, that was a lot. <laughs> this video is already quite long, but I still have some more to show you. So if you're still holding on to me or holding out for now, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. So I got some happy metal to share with you guys and what I bought with that Amazon gift card. Uh, I thought about making that separate video, but I want to try to really get in the habit of making the episodes again. And then that way I don't have to worry about making so many videos. <laughs> I can just, you know, condense all this stuff together and then do the other random videos. So first I did a yarn swap with Esmeralda. She has a YouTube channel too. It's called God Rocks 2107, I think is the numbers. I might have gotten that wrong. So I had some leftover knit crate yarn. Uh, I had four hanks of it in my stash that had gotten, like I forgot about it. And then I found it one day and it was a uh, wool blend. So I can't use them. So I, I put it on my Facebook group to trade with someone. And me and Esmeralda, Esmeralda <laughs> made like the deal to trade. So I sent her those and she sent me... Uh, like, I just wanted worst away acrylics. And I, I basically told her, I like, I didn't care what colors it was. So, she sent me quite a bit of it. Uh, and also some, like, little um, scrap balls, which I am perfectly fine with. Because um, I'll use them. <laughs> so, first, there's this. Uh, this is Red Heart Bright Yellow. Scrap ball. <laughs> I'll leave her channel links below, too. And this, I'm not sure what this is, but it's a pretty greeny color. <laughs> and then there's this one. That's like a... Uh, it's not a maroon. I don't know. It's like a purpley color. <laughs> I'm not good with my color names. And then these are like some partially used skeins. And there's also a note <laughs> without a folded up. But it's just a little note from her. Uh, so she sent a Red Heart Super Saver Black. Which you can never have too much of when you're an Amigurumi person. And she sent... What is this? This is Loops and Threads. Soft and Shiny. Uh, it's a number four worsted. And its color is called Parsley. 100% acrylic. It's really pretty. Parsley. <laughs> and this is Yarn Bee Soft Seeker. And it looks very similar to that one I just looked at. The Loops and Thread one. It is called Coco. And it's also 100% acrylic. Number 4 worsted. It looks like the same yarn. <laughs> but it's two different brands. Uh, and then she sent This is like an old, old one. But I'll still use it. It's called, it's from Sears. I don't even think Sears is a company anymore. I know all the, I think it went bankrupt and all the ones around us closed. Um, it's called Color Plus. Uh, 67% some type of acrylic and 33% polyester. I'm assuming it's a number four. It says it's a four ply. It's a pretty green color. Wait, does it have a, did I say the name? I can't remember what I said the name avocado that makes sense it looks like avocado and this is a uh, red heart i've never seen it it looks older by the label <laughs> and it is a number four as well and it's called venice i remember when they had a line of places so this is one of those pretty 
And then the last one she sent is a Hirsch, Hirschner's Worsted 8, which I have some of those up on the top. It's number four, 100% acrylic. And this one's color is Mustard Seed. So those are all from El Zamorelda. We did a little yarn swap and I got rid of the last of the Knit Crate yarn, <laughs> which Knit Crate is a sore subject for me. Thanks to Knit Crate, I have decided to not work with any more companies <laughs> because of the whole um, debacle. Because <laughs> I it really irked me and made me feel really bad for a while um, that I, you know, like I, what am I trying to say? You know, I talked good about them and like put them out there and people bought stuff from them and then they never got what they bought from them and then they went bankrupt and then they disappeared and they still owe me money uh they still owed me some commissions and they got a lot of money from other people and never sent them products or money back and because they're bankrupt they can't you know they have to sell off all their assets and stuff and you know go through all that stuff and pay like their bills and stuff and i imagine people like us are at the end of that <laughs> so we'll probably never see our money and i feel so bad about that because i know a lot of people bought yarn from them because of me talking about them so that's why I've turned down. I've had a lot of other companies contact me. Like I've seen other people working with like Whisk F and um, Timu and crap, One Day Savings and all that. The, all those companies have contacted me too. And I just ignore them. I've had Hobie contact me and I just, I've decided I'm not going to work with any companies. <laughs> I'm not in YouTube to get rich and famous. Uh, I don't want to be like a big yarny, you know, famous person. So, um, uh, I've just decided I'm not going to ever work with another company again <laughs> because I don't want to ever, uh, promote something and then something like that happened again i felt so bad anyways onto the gift card i got gifted a gift card to amazon from mary and um uh, which i loved and uh you know never expect anything like that but it was really cool to get it and so um we didn't need anything and i decided you know what i'm gonna spend this on myself because i have a hard time spending money on myself all of the times when it's not like needed things so i bought some crafty things that I've been wanting for a while and a couple of them are for um a swap that I'm doing for Halloween <laughs> and just other crafts you know so first I got these little um I don't know what these are called they're like buttons but they don't have the button thing on the back of them they're just like acrylic pieces that you can make into buttons or just you know hot glue to things so it's just like a variety pack of Halloween shaped ones you can't really see any of them but, uh, like there's, you know, little witches and owls and that looks like Frankenstein and pumpkins and stuff. Because I wanted to make like, um, what are they called? Like, you know, where you glue them to paper clips and make like a bookmark thing. I want to make things like that. There's like ghosts and stuff in there. I thought they were cute. So I got those. And then I bought a bag of Halloween sequins, <laughs> which I know is kind of a funny thing to spend money on. But uh, I have craft ideas for these. And I think it's funny that it just came in like a plastic bag. <laughs> like it didn't come in any packaging other than that. But it's just Halloween sequins. So there's jack-o'-lanterns and spiderwebs and ghosts and bats. And uh, like witches on a broom. The purple ones in there are witches on a broom. And then there's also like just little circles, you know, things like that. But those are going to be for like crafty things that I have in mind. And uh, maybe for Halloween cards <laughs> to put in, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I got those. And then I did also just buy some safety house. <laughs> These are 12 millimeters, which seems to be the size I go to the most for the amigurumis that I make. So I bought another package of those. And then the main thing that I bought that I've been wanting forever and I haven't bought for myself because it's only, it's only like 20 something dollars, but to me that's a lot of money. You know, we're, we're not rich by any means. Um, so it's in this box. I can't really tell what it is by looking at it. But it is a wax seal kit, which I have always wanted for like letters and things, but also for uh, paper crafts. It looks cool, you know? And uh, yeah, so it came with a bunch of stuff. So this is the little platform that you put the little candle in when it's lit. And then you put the little spoon, which is right here, on top of it. And then you put the little wax pieces in there and that's what melts it for you to pour it on an envelope and then stamp it. So, oops, that's what that is. It also came with this little bag and it's got two tubes of glitter i guess so you can glitterize your wax <laughs> and then it came with a little thing of ribbon to tie envelopes with it came with a little handful of envelopes they're like really nice sturdy ones really nice ones <laughs> and this little tray of a bunch of different color wax cubes or they're not really cubes <laughs> but that's the wax that you melt plus i have a couple other ones from like scoops that i did before um on hand and you can buy these at like a hobby lobby too 
and Michaels, but I don't have Michaels. <laughs> but I have seen them at Michaels. There's also, they have them in the craft section, but also in the wedding section. Came with some twine, I guess, also to tie envelopes with. And then this is the actual little stamper. So this one has a tree on it. But it also came with a butterfly one. I don't know if you can see that. And then one that says thank you. And you can also buy these at, like, Michaels and Hub Lobby. And I think they're all kind of generic. They all just have the same size thing that you just screw on there. So I can purchase more. You can even get customized ones, which I really want. I want one that has like the R, fancy cursive R on it for Roberts. And it came with two pins. After wax dries, you like rub these over it and the parts that are higher up, like a stamp, you know, uh, gets the little color on there. It's silver and gold. Came with some little tweezers for something. It also came with 10 little tiny tea lights. They're so tiny. <laughs> And then it also came like a little mold, so I guess you can make perfectly rounded ones if you want to make round ones. Uh, you pour the wax in there, you know, and then stamp it. But I, I want the messy ones that look droopy and like old timey. That's that's my goal. So I cannot wait to play this. I have not played with it yet. I did take it all out and look at it. But I want to, I, I gotta send some mail to someone because I want to use it. I will probably, Jen, if you're watching this, your Halloween package this year will have something to do with this in there. <laughs> because I'm going to be using it. And whenever I get around to being able to work on my junk journals again, I haven't been able to do that because of the baby. She's a lot cleaner than Jessie was. Um, there's going to be wax seals all over it <laughs> because they're so cool. Uh, and I got a feeling I'm going to go through these waxes pretty fast. I'm going to have to buy some more. This is a pretty cool container. Once I do use up the wax, I can use it for like safety eyes storage. But yeah, so this was this was like 20 something dollars. Can't get it to go back in there now. Uh, so this was the majority of that gift card, but then those other things, I ended up only having to pay like $4 after the gift card <laughs> for taxes and stuff. So, um, I'm super happy with this. I cannot wait to use it. Like I want to do it now, but I don't want to waste time right now. I gotta do other things. But anyway, so that was everything. So a 30 minute video. <laughs> I promise the other episodes will not be this long because, uh, it's just cause I had all this stuff kind of accumulated that I needed to share. <laughs> so... Uh, if you stuck this long, thank you. You're an actual true friend. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to try to start doing weekly just podcasts. And then uh, random stitch your library, stitch your stashes, collabs when they're going on. I do plan on doing vlogist, vlogtober, and vlogmas, depending on the kids. <laughs> and, uh, you know, other little videos will be trinkled in. But uh, I want to just get back into like a routine of doing, you know, like, I'm hoping to do the vid these videos on, like, um, Sunday. And then Wednesday, we watch Record on Wednesday. And then uh, try to do, like, national holidays on the days that are Sunday and Wednesdays. And throw in Stitcher Libraries, Stitcher Stashes, you know, just sprinkle them in there. So, yeah. But anyways, if you stuck around this long, it's, like, 30 minutes long. <laughs> I do got a few bits I got to edit out. So, it'll be a little bit shorter, I guess. But now I got to put all this up because I got it all out. <laughs> and I will see you guys in another video. Uh, thank you for sticking with me this long. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Uh, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.